on Star Wars her best song. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And uh, oh my god, um, <laughs> I'm so I made this video about six months ago uh, before this whole EP came out uh, of ranking Gabby Hanna's songs. Now at this time there were only six songs to rank, including Satellite. And um, when I ranked all of her songs, I included the little interludes as their own songs. Uh, they weren't really interludes because they were just kind of attached to singles. I'm talking about, of course, Honestly Encore and Monster Reborn. So I thought I would re-rank all of her songs now that she's released an EP. Now, I decided to set some ground rules for this. First of all, I will not be including Satellite in this because she has removed it off of Spotify and it appears that she either has big plans to remake it or just wants us to all forget about it. One way or another, I won't be including it. Next rule is that I'm not going to be including the interludes on um, her EP to Way Near. I'm not going to be including uh, the little interludes like she wrote it about you or, or um, things like Broken Boys or even the shorter ones like that. I'm not going to be including any of those uh, because a lot of those are just a few seconds long. Broken Boys is probably the longest of them but still super short and it just it fits well in the flow of the EP but I'm talking about full songs here. Uh, if you don't know what the EP is about or haven't listened to it, I highly recommend you listen to it. It's called Two Way Mirror and it's really good. But anyway, uh, this won't be flowing as the EP. This will be evaluating the songs individually. Now, uh, another thing is that because I'm not including interludes, I decided to include Monster and Honestly's encore bits with the song. So Monster is now Monster and Monster Reborn are included as one song and Honestly, same story. So without further ado, Let's get into the ranking. I'll be ranking nine songs, uh, including the little ones that are tacked on. And without further ado, I'm going to get into my number nine, uh, my least favorite song by her, which is Goodbye For Now. And this is her, this is the last song on the EP. It fits in the context of the EP. It tells a it tells a story. It's closure to the story, but in terms of a song itself, I can't say it's that great. It's kind of long, it's kind of short for what you think. And the melody's okay. Her singing's okay. And honestly, I'm not a fan of bachata vocals on the chorus. But otherwise, there isn't much to say about this one. So let's just move on to my number eight. This was Gabby's first single, and I really do love this song. I think it's still really solid. Um, I really think the song is good, but a couple things I will note about it. Also, if Satellite was in this ranking, it would be right here. But anyway, um, Out Loud is her first song. I really love the low verses on the chorus. I think the chorus is pretty good, if not a little bit overwrought. Her singing was definitely not as good back then as it is now. Uh, she's definitely improved as a singer, which makes sense considering, uh, you know, everyone improves as a singer. And there are instances, the song is very emotional, it sounds very emotional and I like that about it, but there are instances in the chorus where I do think she's over singing a bit or it's a bit overwrought. Now, the song itself is still really solid but it doesn't stack up to her newer work. Although I will say that this uh, chorus, that this bridge gives me chills. Yes, that is absolutely brilliant. Now, uh, the rest of the song doesn't quite stack up. I will say, also, if I sound sick, I'm really sorry. I'm just really congested. I think it's just allergies, nothing major, but yeah. And uh, so there's that. All right, moving on to my number seven. So apparently this is the big new song she's promoting off of this EP, and quite honestly, it's probably one of my least favorite songs on the EP. It's still good. I still like it considerably. I do really like the the um, vibe of the song. It's got a nice laid back vibe, but this song kind of has the self-awareness of I knew you were trouble, and I'm glad Gabby is able to be smart and self-aware, but this song just feels kind of 
not forced exactly, but it just feels a bit weird. And there's kind of a very quick transition in the song from this like lighter thing to like this loud chorus, I guess. And it's a pretty quick transition. I don't think it's very smooth. Um, and uh, but a couple of things I do love about this song is how it builds towards the end and the outro where she rhymes the words butterflies with butterfly new from the start. Butterflies, butterflies so yes, I really enjoyed this song. I think it's absolutely fantastic, but at the same time, it's a bit overrated as the song she's pushing off this album. I understand if the song's important to her. I do like the metaphor she plays throughout the entire EP about butterflies. She references it in a couple later songs. We'll get into that later. But uh, again, the EP flows really well as an EP in general. If you want to listen to it, it's about 20 minutes long. It's not very long. So if you want to listen to it, we're going on. Speaking of the True Way Mirror EP, my next song, my number six pick, is Pillowcase. Now, I really like this one a lot. I like the... Um, darker vibe of this um, a lot. This feels such post-breakup, such post... Um, the writing is really sharp about uh, needing validation and admitting all that stuff here, and I really like the production at first, and I get kind of Billie Eilish vibes from this song, which is great, and I love the pre-chorus here. That delivery is so emo, so panic, so theatrical. And believe me, I will get into theatricality a bit more later, trust me. She's actually really good at it. She's not just a dime a dozen pop singer, in my opinion. She's not someone like Anne Marie or um, some dime a dozen pop singer. She actually has some really theatrical elements to her music. Even though it does have, it is pop leaning, it's not straight up, you know, Broadway or whatever. Not that she'd really be able to sing that, probably. But this is the type of music that really works well for her. I do really enjoy the song, just not as much as the others, so before I move on, I'm just gonna say this song is kind of about to. It's kind of catchy. I also really like the production on this, which I don't can't say about all of the other songs. Next one is Monster. And Monster Reborn while we're here. I still really like this song. Um, and this is a good song to sing along to. I love her lower tones on the verses here. They sound so good. And then going into the pre-chorus, it's very raw and uncut. And I love the way she sings on this song. Now, I really like the vocal catches in the chorus. This is something that a lot of people don't like. And that is completely okay. That is a completely stylistic thing. You either like it or you don't like it. So, uh, but I think it sounds absolutely amazing. And, um... Again, I completely understand the criticism for the song, singing it live is a different story. But in the studio, I do think the song still sounds really good. And I love this chorus, it's so raw and intense. This song is really intense, intense would be a great way to describe it. Again, I love this bridge. And the kind of sleepy, but yet spooky production works so well, this song works so well. The song is so good. And then the Monster Reborn is kind of a piano melody of the same song, just kind of a conclusion to that. It's only about a minute long. But it's a very nice outro. Number four from Two Way Mirror, my personal favorite song from Two Way Mirror outside of. No, it isn't. My personal third favorite song from Two Way Mirror is the opener. Speaking of songs that are emotionally intense, this one is actually a bop as well. This one is extremely uh, catchy and danceable, but also very emotionally intense. Also got some really nice lines in here, Gabby talking about the kinds of guys she falls for, and I've someone who's followed her on YouTube for a long time. I think this song is such an accurate description of this. No one else could have made this song. This is her distinctly. I love the like sentence on the chorus. It sounds really intense. This would work like in an action movie. 
and the song is great, so, you know, criminally underrated, please make a video, I know you don't have the budget for it and you want to make a video for our Butterflies and Perfect Day, but it was a bit weird when I first saw you were going to make a video for Butterflies. Honestly, I can't say I'm 100% on board with the video for Butterflies. Moving on to my number three. Wait, after this. Never mind. I hit the wrong button. Moving on to my number three. Okay, and honestly, too. The reason this is this high is because of that encore, though. But the bass song is pretty damn good as well. I do really like the production here, and I love the build-up to the chorus and the song, honestly. I hope we kind of have a almost like fake string sound in the background, just kind of building up to the chorus, and then here it goes. This song has an absolute bump of chorus. I love the song, I love the chorus, and it's a great, catchy song while also being angry and emotionally intense. But lyrically, it's not quite on par with some of her other songs, but... This song hit hard when it came out last year around this time. I had been through a situation, if you haven't checked my Getting Catfish story time, please check that out. Uh, and this song hit hard at the right time and was really, is a perfect insight into what being lied to feels like. But the reason this is in this spot is because of the encore. That encore. And we'll get to it. This encore is a spoken word poem. It is done escalating. It just escalates more and more as lies and lies and deceit built up, the relationship built up, and I love this encore here. This is very theatrical and emotionally intense. So, yes, absolutely great, absolutely great, great thing. But, I do think there was a song which did this better. Number two. I'm honestly surprised at myself for putting this this high because I won't say I listen to it nearly as much as some of her other songs. Like Broken Girls, which is just a catchy thought. This song is very intense. Not something it's easy to listen to, but it is so good. Uh, basically, this is a song about getting cheated on and I love the bait and switch in the middle of the song because it's like so happy and then she sees it and it's just it's just so intense and when the bait and switch happens and when it happens right here Halfway. And I love the theatricality of this part here. This does not sound like a pop song, this sounds like a musical. So, yes, this song gives me chills. I do think this works well in combination with Butterflies, because Butterflies is a song that uh, kind of leads into this. But for a relationship, this is when she finds everything out, and then we go into the breakup with a pillowcase, the post-breakup with Medicaid, and then goodbye for now. I think it's a really great EP. But her theatricality on the end of this song gives me chills, it's amazing, and I love it. And finally, my favorite song by her is Medicaid. This is the post-breakup trying to heal song. I love the piano melodies, I love Gabby's delivery, I love the lyrics, I love the production, I absolutely love everything about the song. I can't say there's too much else to say about it, but I love the way it builds and manages to be both soft and intense, and both sad and angry. It has so many emotions packed into one song. This is by far her best song yet, and I hope she'll release more music like this, and this wasn't just an experiment, because this song is amazing. I really love her music, but if she keeps making songs like Butterflies, I don't know where I'm at with it. I want to see more things like Pillowcase or uh, especially Perfect Day or Medicaid. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, click like and drop the rankings down below. Again, if you haven't checked out the EP, check it out. It's awesome. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.